Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a meeting with His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa at Al Sakhir Palace. His Majesty the King reviewed with His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister the positive and fruitful results of the 15th G20 Leaders Summit held virtually under the chairmanship of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, praising the summit's valuable initiatives and outstanding organization, which will benefit the world. His Majesty congratulated the Saudi monarch on the great success of the 15th G20 summit held for the first time in the region, confirming the leading role of sisterly Saudi Arabia thanks to the wisdom of King Salman and his distinguished leadership in supporting Arab, Islamic and global issues. His Majesty the King praised the continuous achievements made by the kingdom across various fields of national work thanks to the dedication of its loyal citizens, which consolidated its leading role, enhanced its global position and raised its banners at international gatherings. His Majesty the King also highlighted the efforts being made to enhance Bahrain's competitive position and achieve development goals in a way that meets the goals of the Bahrain Economic Vision 2030. His Majesty also reviewed with His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister the initiatives and efforts being made to combat the coronavirus COVID-19 pandemic and limit its spread in addition to the steps taken to provide a safe vaccine for COVID-19. His Majesty the King stressed his keenness to ensure that the vaccine will be made available to all citizens and residents. His Majesty wished His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister every success in assuming his patriotic responsibilities to achieve the aspirations of Bahrainis for more progress and prosperity. His Majesty the King praised His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister's close follow-up on and successful leadership of the national efforts to counter the pandemic, hailing the successes attained so far and valuing highly the continuous dedication of the health competencies as well as the allied military and security entities and all the relevant government agencies agencies. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa at Sakhir Palace, Deputy Prime Minister His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, Interior Ministry's Under Secretary of Nationality, Passport and Residence Affairs, Sheikh Rashid bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and sons to greet His Majesty, where they expressed thanks and appreciation for his condolences on the passing of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. His Majesty the King hailed the achievements of the late prince and his pioneering efforts and contributions in the kingdom's development and comprehensive achievements at all fields. He affirmed that with his demise, Bahrain had lost one of its great leaders. His Majesty also affirmed that the deceased had devoted his life to enhancing the homeland's progress and achieving the aspirations of its people, as well as to serving the Arab and Islamic nations, praying to Allah the Almighty to rest his soul in eternal peace. His Majesty also expressed appreciation to the people of Bahrain for their contribution in building the history and development of Bahrain and their effective co efforts of construction in various fields of national work. For his part, His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa and the grandsons of the late prince expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his kind sentiments, praying to Allah to bless His Majesty with health and happiness and to achieve further development for the kingdom under His Majesty's leadership. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, held a remote meeting in the presence of the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, with the ministers participating in the Youth Summit 2020. His Highness Sheikh Nasser affirmed that studying the studying within this place of recommendations in the sports summit and developing a clear work plan to implement these recommendations asserts the kingdom's directives to make the youth the main element in advancing the various sectors in the kingdom. He noted that listening to the youth and speaking with them is an approach that is rooted in the history of Bahrain. His Highness stated that he invited the youth and participating in the summit to listen to their ideas and creations to overcome all challenges in the participating sectors and the youth have accepted the invitation and contributed effectively to discussing these challenges 
challenges with the decision makers. His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed appreciation for the efforts of the ministers who strive to listen to the youth's points of view and are keen on speaking with them to enable them to develop suitable solutions for all challenges facing various sectors. His Highness added that the recommendations submitted by the Youth Summit are being seriously considered, which include the solution of the youth for various issues. His Highness Sheikh Nasser discussed with the ministers the recommendations sub submitted by the youth as he directed the ministers to fully consider these recommendations and to develop an implementation plan. He also directed to launch the application named The Consultant, which aims to present the youth with the main challenges facing ministries to receive their solutions and suggestions to be submitted to the ministries. وخاصة أنتوا عارفين مدى اهتمام قيادتنا بالشباب فما لا داعي أذكركم في هذا الشيء ولكن الذكرى تنفع المؤمنين واللي اللي واجب علينا اليوم إحنا نقوم به ونركز عليه هو طبعا نشوف مستوى الشباب عندنا في مملكة البحرين ونقدر ونقيم مستواهم بين دول العالم الحقيقة نرى أن شباب مملكة البحرين أنتم عارفين عندكم في وزاراتكم عدد كبير من الشباب سواء كان على النطاق المحلي ولا كانوا شبابنا وشاباتنا في خارج مملكة البحرين نعرف مستواهم ونعرف جديتهم في العمل the Shura Council held its weekly session remotely presided over by its president Ali bin Saleh Al Saleh, in which he approved the project of responding to His Majesty the King's speech. The Committee for Responding to His Majesty the King's speech affirmed in its report that the Council takes pride in His Majesty the King's support to the legislative authority. The Committee noted that the royal speech highlighted the main national achievements in many fields. The Council discussed the report of the Financial and Economic Affairs Committee on the final account of the future generations reserve for the fiscal year that ended on the 31st of December 2017. Works Municipalities and Urban Planning Minister Islam bin Abdullah Khalaf headed the Bahraini delegation participating in the 30th meeting of GCC ministers concerned with agricultural affairs held virtually due to the restrictions imposed by COVID-19. He said that the meeting complements the steps towards achieving sustainable agricultural policies that contribute to enhancing food security and developing cooperation in agricultural, animal and fisheries fields among the GCC states. The meeting discussed issues related to agricultural systems and policies including the law on organic inputs and products, the law on the unified plant quarantine system and well as well as the law on the management of plant genetic resources for food and agriculture in a guided manner. The race for the second edition of Bahrain International Horse Race, which was held last of Friday, received local and international praise and a new and distinct success that strengthened the legacy and ability of the kingdom on the global horse racing map by hosting and organizing international races and attracting a large group of stables and well-known world horses. The executive director of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, Sheikh Salman bin Rashid Al Khalifa, expressed pride in the outstanding organizational success of Bahrain International Horse Race, which affirmed the ability of the kingdom and the competence of its people in organizing various events, championships and international races. Sheikh Salman bin Rashid praised the continuous support of the chairman of the Supreme Commission of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa, and the Deputy President of the Supreme Commission for His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa in creating the best organizational environment for the success of this international event and the efforts of their highnesses and their follow-up on all stages of preparation and organization. The Ministry of Housing, in cooperation with the Ministry of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, organized an educational workshop for beneficiaries of housing units in the projects of Khalifa Town, East Head, Hura Tanad and Bsaitin. The workshops regarding covered the construction requirements of building restrictions and the most prominent violations that may impact the, the architectural facades of residential projects. The workshop comes as an introduction to future educational workshops for all beneficiaries of housing projects in order to preserve uh, the civilized appearance of housing projects and the new cities of Bahrain and for the safety of the beneficiaries. The Ministry of Housing said that it was keen on including all the necessary elements to achieve quality of housing for citizens, including the possibility of expanding units without prejudice to the integrity of the unit or changing the general view of the projects. 
The Ministry of Health has said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 1,636, with 201 recoveries and 124 registered new cases. 50 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 69 are contacts of active cases, and 5 are travel-related. The Ministry urges everyone to adhere to the rules and avoid public spaces when possible.